Mr. Foxy attacked me last night in my potato pots. These potatoes weren't mature enough, but you've had a go at all of them. You couldn't find any potatoes. Because these potato pots are ready to eat. So I put bricks on the top so he couldn't get out. <laughs> but he did leave his mark. His mark of appreciation is he pooed on top of my white duck. <laughs> How he got his leg up that high, I do not know. Harvest time. I collected most of the pears off the tree except the ones on the top. This is my collection. Black grapes. And green ones. So I got two volumes, one black, one green. Potatoes. Morris Piper and Apache. I should eat most of them, but they're, some of them are safe for seed for next year. Rhubarb nearly over. And this is the waste from the pear tree. That's about a foot deep. I'm cutting down some of the pear tree to give this part a bit more light because my move are not being very good. So this is now going to be, I've taken out blackcurrant bushes, I've still got one in there and one gooseberry. This will be my rhubarb patch because I rather like rhubarb and I didn't get much this year. These are my kidney beans. They've gone over that. They've gone to seed. So they're no good to eat. So I stripped all the long ones off. And because I let them grow over the top, they protect themselves from the frost. And this was done a couple of days ago. And I give them real good watering because the ground was really dry. So you can see that they've already started again, which is my theory. Yeah, look at that. Come on, we love this. Like a canopy, they hang down inside. Like that. I've left them on, you know, that will be for seed. That's a good one. These are my next lot of potato pots and it's anti Mr. Fox. I put stones around there so he can't dig them out unless he comes here with a crane and he can fortress them out with stone. I don't know. He's a crafty fox, but I love him. That's a pepper. Ah, look, it's coming along nicely. This is the last of the potatoes that I've planted. And um, I've got my anti fox trapped on the top. So, if anybody got any uh, uh, grills from inside of an old cooker, that's what I'm going to. I'm going to get a few more of them off of people, which is ideal because I can just let them grow through. See how that works. This is herbs 
Um, a siege. Can't remember what that is. But that's rosemary. And this is my chilies. And some more pepper plants. This is leeks. This will be harvested in late February, March. Spring onions. Not very, not very many there. And the beetroot. They're ready for harvesting. And the cabbage is coming along nicely. That won't be long. That's a cultivated blackberry bush. And that will grow this year. So this is what will fruit next year. It's still growing. Hopefully get it along to there. Then I'm going to turn it around, send it back. That's the longest it's been so far. And there's some odd beetroot that I put in. See if they grow. But pretty soon I'm going to have to dig them all up. That's all for this year. Bye bye.